Hi, this is Cheryl Warnell, Circulation Services Manager at the Main Library. Today I'm going to talk about how to locate a patron's PIN number. Now patrons need their PIN numbers for various reasons with the library, including viewing their account, placing holds, using the public computers, and accessing the library's online resources. Now patrons must come into the library to get their PIN numbers. We do not issue PIN numbers over the telephone and patrons must present either their library card or their photo ID in order to get their PIN number. I have several examples to show you so let's get to our first one. In order to find a PIN number you go under the users toolbar in workflows then you go down to modify user. Then you will key in their library card or scan it All right, to locate the PIN number, you'll go to the Privilege tab, and you do see PIN right here, and we would let this patron know that their PIN number is 8716. Now their status is delinquent, which means they probably have overdue fines, but it has not reached the $15 limit in order to block their account. All right, let's move on to our next example. Again, under the Users toolbar, go to Modify User, and scan in the library card. Again, under the Privilege tab, you see the PIN number 5672. However, this time the status is blocked. As before we saw delinquent, this one actually probably has overdue fines that keep the user from using the library. So let's investigate this. Under the Users tab, I'll select Display User and go under Bills and we do see that the total bills is $16. Now patrons are blocked if their overdue fines reach $15. So at this point I would tell the patron they would need to get their fines under $15. So if they wanted to pay a couple of dollars on this, they would be able to use the library use the library computers, or access our online resources. Alright, next example. Again, under the Privilege tab, we do see the PIN number. Here it is. This time the status is OK. However, we do see that their privilege had expired earlier this year. In a case like this, instead of sending them off with their PIN number and having them come back when they, their account uh, does not work on the computers, what we can do is just go ahead and use our normal process to renew a library user. Once their privilege is renewed, they will be able to use their library card and PIN number for various tasks at the library. All right, I do have one remaining example, so let me type that one in. Again, under the Privilege tab, their privilege is good, their PIN number is right here, however the status is collection. Whenever you see the status collection, that means this patron has been turned over to the collection agency. We can do a little further investigation, go to Display User, We'll go to bills and we see that their bills are under our $15 threshold. Unfortunately, Cersei, it's a new feature that Cersei does for us. Anybody who's been turned over to collections gets that collection status and you can notice that under the summary account, status is collection. Whenever it is collection, it freezes the account for all intents and purposes. However, as circulation uh, staff, we can go in and if they are under the $15, we can go in and override a checkout to them. However, that will still block them from being able to use the online resources or the public access computers. In a situation like this, I do advise patrons to get their balance down to zero. That way their status will go back to OK and they will be able to use the library again. In extreme cases, if a patron whose account is under the $15 and needs to use the computer for, say, a resume or job search, what we have done is issued a temporary PC user card 
and we have made that card expire in one to three days and that way the patron can come in complete their work and then uh, be able to use the computers and then come in and pay off their account and their account be okay. Alright, that concludes my examples. Once again, to locate a PIN number, Users tab, Modify User, Privilege, and that is where the PIN number is located. Thank you very much.